Hello peeps, I hope you are doing well. Repairit, a full-fledged file repairing solution, is here to help you in fixing corrupted video problems in no time. Today, our interest is resolving around recording movies from a camera. Have you ever caught yourself in a situation when a movie recording automatically stops? This problem is actually mostly faced by people owning a Canon camera in particular. So yes, it's bad luck if you are a Canon camera owner, but the good part is that you can avoid this problem by following the correct steps. This video guide will help you in troubleshooting the movie recording automatically stop issue. Before starting, however, kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon as well. Instead of moving to the solution directly, understanding the reasons for recording interruptions is more important. There are certain factors that cause the movie recording has been stopped automatically problem. So let's go through them. It could be that your camera is just too hot due to either overuse or even an internal problem. In such a case, it will turn off unexpectedly and interrupt the recording. The memory card inserted in your Canon camera might not be powerful enough to restore and read high quality videos. If your camera is using an incompatible memory card, the chances of interruption during a movie recording are very high. A memory card with a full storage obviously can't record further videos, and this could be one of the reasons why your movie recording stops. And finally, an SD card infected with a virus may not allow you to record videos smoothly. If you are recording in a hot climate, your camera will overheat fast with continuous video recording. It's better to turn off your camera and wait until it's cooled down and then resume the recording. Have you ever checked the number of jump files stored on your SD card? Never, right? Well, before using any memory card, always format it with your camera. Doing so will not only remove junk files, but also aids in a fresh start and improves the read and write speeds of the SD card. To format your SD card, just follow these simple steps. First of all, turn off the camera and insert the SD card into the slot. Now power on and choose menu. Use the navigation wheel and go to the right of the wrench and the dot icon. Go down to format SD card and hit the set button. Move to OK and then press the set button once more. This will format the SD card and then the menu will return back to normal. It's good to know however that you can just opt for a low level format if the card reads and write speeds are just slow. Changing your camera's recording size is another way to deal with interruptions during a movie recording. Choose this method if you don't want to buy a new memory card, but want the recording to go smoothly. Keep in mind, however, that this is going to reduce the overall video quality. To reduce the recording size, you can use the menu and adjust the recording size as per the frame rate and video quality, or just use the quick control screen to perform the same process. Sometimes the movie recording automatically stop problem emerges from the higher bit rate in your camera. Not all SD cards are compatible enough to handle high bit rates, so you can simply adjust the bit rate to match the SD card capacity. After making adjustments, your camera can record videos for a long time without any hassle. Why not get an SD card with a fast read and write speed? This is the best way of solving the issue of your video recording suddenly stopping. To pick an SD card with a high speed, look for the class number. The higher the class indicates better speed, performance and quality. If you have captured a video but it's not running appropriately, or you think it may have even become corrupted, then don't worry no more. These days it's possible to repair it and run the video without any interruption. All you need is a powerful video repair tool, aka repair it. You can make use of repair it to fix all of your recorded and corrupted videos. It's a professional and one-stop solution for all kinds of corrupted files, including videos, audios, and much more. It has some great key features too. The three-click process to repair your corrupted videos is extremely easy to perform. 
Repair It helps you to effectively repair video, audios, documents, and even photos too. It can efficiently repair multiple video file formats, and it works in fixing many scenarios like pixelated, blurry, audio sync issues, plus many, many more. And to use Repair It to fix your recordings, just follow the next steps. The first thing is to download and install the Repair It software from its official website, and then launch it. Once launched, insert your SD card into the SD card reader and then connect it to your PC. After that, add all the corrupted videos by clicking the Add button in the middle part of the interface. Once added, you can view the info of corrupted videos like the file name, the file size, watching time, and so on. But now it's time to start fixing your video, so just click on the Repair button. After the repair process completes, you will get a pop-up message, but just click on OK to remove it. And now you can preview and save all or even just specific videos by clicking the preview or save button. So that's it for today, but thanks for watching this video. We found it mandatory to make this video guide on some top tips for movie recording without interruptions after several users reported the same problem. Undoubtedly, recording a movie is a fun and adventurous activity, but not being able to do it seamlessly is terribly annoying. That's why whenever you discover yourself in such trouble, follow the instructions we have shared in this video. And more importantly, just try and repair it if a video fails to play back. So we hope this video has helped you solve the video recording has stopped automatically issue, but please do let us know in the comment section below which solution has worked best for you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to drop a like and click the subscribe button as well. But until next time, take care and I'll see you all very soon.